what's going on guys so this morning we're going to be working at cleaning out one of these silos so you can see we have four silos here the two concrete ones feed out of the top from the top down and then these two blue silos are sealed and the unloaders are at the bottom and they feed out and what happens is when they get to the end there's a little bit of junk feed that's left over at the very end that you just got to throw away because it was on the top of the pile and it spoils we are currently feeding halage out of this first silo which is a little bit smaller that was fourth cutting alfalfa and now this silo is empty you can see there's just some junk right here it's about the floor of the silo is actually right here and there's just a couple feet of this junk here we gotta get cleaned out first thing i'm gonna do is climb up the silo and open up the door up top that'll let some light in and allow fresh air to flow through the silo Now I gotta get my camera. All right, here we are. Whew. Just gonna go ahead and open up this door. And then there's a small door there I can open up as well. set up the silo to fill that way in a month or a month and a half when we go to put the first cutting in here be ready to go okay I'm gonna head down again back down to earth now so that should create sort of a chimney effect should be pulling air in this bottom door flowing up through out the top I'm gonna fork a little bit of this junk away here to increase the size of this window so we get good airflow. We got good airflow coming through here now. That's a good thing. You wanna be careful with gases with these silos that can build up in there. Before we go inside there, I wanna make sure there's a lot of air flowing through. But first we're just gonna run the unloader and let it clear out most of it. We can just stay out here. I wanna bring the manure spreader over, but there is some good corn silage in this conveyor here. We gotta get that out of here before we start running junk. I don't wanna waste that. So we'll run into this feed cart. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the manure spreader. We'll back it right in here and start unloading. That was reverse, now we'll put it in forward. Now I put it in gear, so it's rotating in there. Slowly clean out the way around the silo and push it out here. This is gonna take a little while. Making a little bit of progress. coming really slow there. I was switching the machine from forward and reverse to try and loosen it up. Now it's coming a bit better. These unloaders work best with really dry feed. For some reason there's more moisture in this stuff here on the bottom. My dad's gonna keep messing with that there. It's gonna be a little bit of a process. I think once we can actually go inside the silo, once we get more air moving in there, We'll be able to help it. It's kind of sticky, so it's not flowing out like it should. 
This 4240 is due for an oil change. I'm gonna pull this over to the shop and then we can do that quick. Want to make sure it's warm enough so the oil drains well. What size is that right there? I'm gonna guess it's like inch and something. Inch and a quarter. Look at that. This is our oil filter right here. Did I get that off? I got a new one. Just making sure we have the right thing, which we do. Man, that was tight. So there's actually a seal that goes here on the tractor. Thought it went on the filter, but she stick it on the tractor and then put the filter on. The filter's changed. I'm going to give it a little bit more time to drain there. And then we can put the plug back in and put some oil in it. I have another job in the milking parlor I need to do real quick. We'll do that first. I was washing down the parlor this morning after milking and while I was using this big power hose here we got a little bit of a leak here these hoses wear out pretty often right here where they're connected to the reel and we just have to cut them off and reconnect them here just got my impact we'll take these hose clamps off Okay, we're good to go. Just gonna wind this hose back up. That was a simple fix. Gotta keep after stuff like that. Let's get oil back in this tractor now.
Dad was able to get more out. But we'd like to get in there and help it a little bit. Want to make sure it's safe. We have this fan running, blowing air into the silo here over lunch. And then we'll be fine to be able to go inside a little bit and help get it started, get the middle cleaned out a little bit. Set this fan up as soon as you get in. Are you all right? Yeah. And maybe the light. Get it open here, that's the door that I came in. And there's two, two chains, there's an upper chain here. That's above the floor. It'll draw it to the middle and then the floor is right here. It'll drop down below the floor and run underneath in that second chain. I'll take it out, put it in the conveyor. So this was all jammed up here. I kind of cleared it out with a porch, pitch fork and I think it's gonna work now. You gotta be careful in here. This thing's a pretty gnarly machine. Got it running again. It seems to be working better. Once we get the machine clicking, it'll slowly rotate the whole way around. I'm gonna let Dad do this, and we'll go work something else. My plan was to get started early today with putting the rest of the fertilizer on these spring forges. Here's the rye fields that we sprayed two weeks ago. They are a little soft yet. I really would like to get this second batch of fertilizer on because it's getting late enough. You can see it's really growing. I think I'm gonna go get a load and start today. The first batch we sprayed on with the normal spray nozzles. Now this second time we wanna go through with these streamer bars. So rather than having like a fan nozzle that makes a bunch of small droplets, this will just drop four streams and each one does four and they're all even across the 60 feet. I already have the rig ready to go. I guess we'll go pick up some UAN. I'm just gonna pull up next to these tanks and I'll pump it in. And I just gotta weigh in again. Making sure all these streamer bars are lined up straight. This is Triticale here, this farm. See how tall it is already? Halfway up to my knee. Definitely getting late enough to be done driving through this, so would like to get in here maybe a little bit earlier, but this would be good. So normally I could just type in my gallons per acre here on the monitor and it'll set the right rate to my speed. But since we're running the streamer bars rather than the normal nozzles, I have to go by this chart your miles per hour and your pounds of pressure will tell you how many gallons per acre. I think I got the rate figured out pretty good here. The second pass is pretty easy to spray because I can see my tracks from last time. So I don't have to really worry about the GPS too much. So the reason we want the stream bars is because if we sprayed it on uh, like we did the first time, there would be a lot higher chance of it damaging the leaves of the plant. And the first time we we were doing 50% water along with the UAN, so it was less chance of damaging it, but this is just pure UAN. The stream bars are nice because the, the drops flow past the leaves and down onto the ground, and then the roots will end up sucking up the nutrients. You really gotta keep an eye out at the edge of the field. Just caught this little branch. Just nicked this branch right here a little bit and it spun that off. Dropped it right off. Oh, and I don't have a washer. We gotta find that little rubber washer or else I can't use this. Yeah. All right, let's see if I can find it. Thankfully I was able to find it. Just that little washer that goes in there. So that's how it goes. If it hits anything out of here, it just pops it right off. So if you're wondering why we put nitrogen down even though we have all this manure that we haul on, it still helps the crop. It still needs more nitrogen. And you can see a drastic benefit right where the line is if you, if you miss a spot or whatever. Uh, this will really help increase the yield and it will also increase the protein value of the feed. Still rolling here. 
exit. Getting it done. I pray. about 55 acres covered today so i have one more load than i have to do later this week and we'll be done with that then for the year i want to just see how much progress my dad made with this silo he said it kind of slowed down again i'm probably gonna have to go back in the silo tomorrow to keep working at it good bit in there he said he got a full manure spreader load out so that job's gonna continue tomorrow my dad is mixing feed for the cows it's about 4 30 now i have to feed the heifers no way Peppers are fed. All that's left to do is to transition some of these chocolate milks over to my shop fridge. Because I need to have chocolate milk availability at different parts of the farm. Just one of the perks of having a YouTube channel. Now that right there is how you stack a fridge. Honestly, if there's one thing that's going to keep me from drinking soda, it's these bad boys right here. Clover Farms chocolate milk. Job well done. Well, I'm going to call it a day. I think I'm gonna go in the office here, get these clips onto the my computer and start editing a little bit here. Make sure you guys hit the like button if you like this video and I'll catch you guys later.